I'm Vaughn Scribner. Um, I teach at the University of Central Arkansas. I'm an associate professor of history. A question I often have to ask my students, what was a more impressive human invention, the construction of the pyramid or the modern smartphone? Because there are these two kind of paradigm shifts in these ideas of engineering and change. But AI, I think, is the next step in this. AI is not new. We've had Siri and Alexa and um, Gmail fills in our sentences for us. But I think when ChatGPT came along, it was kind of like, oh, like we've seen kind of the rays from the sun rising, but then all of a sudden it peaked over the horizon. We were all like, oh no, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna have to adapt to this. And my big point is, higher ed's always been changing. The way we educate has always been changing. First, it was books and comic books. Well, we've of course integrated that in education. Then I remember TV and cable TV. Well, we have all these documentaries and everything now. Then it was video games. Well, we've integrated video game and, you know, game, even learning where it's like gamification and learning. Um, but as far as higher ed goes and something like Achieve, I think there's a really interesting opportunities in baking AI into this where AI is helping students doing the sandwich method, where students are using AI as their reading to question other things. It's not going to do the reading for them. You know, you already have your textbook and things. You, it's not, it can't process primary source evidence. It's gonna be a strange new world, but we've said that 40 times in the last 100 years. Um, and we've always adjusted. And people have always said, this is gonna be it. And we've adjusted and we've used it. We as educators and um, educational publishers and companies like Macmillan, we have to be just trying to think as just, just over the horizon as much as we can and really lean into figuring this out, not just bury our heads, heads in the sand. There, there have been pluses and minuses of whatever technology we have, but I, I think that it's gonna create some really interesting inroads in the way we think about higher ed and the way we think about scholarship and learning.